Today, that's the full cast for now. The prediction for the next couple of days, the cloudy weather will disappear and will become warmer in all areas. That's no clean news in the next bulletin, 20 hours. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we present a new program called A Lowering of Standards. Please don't forget to switch your radio off. You're resting your battery. Oh, 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 my leg slipped right through to the bone. Oh, what are we going to do now? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank 
Oh, so smell what you mean. Morning, our stay. Maybe she's too in here. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, sorry. Hey, you can't tell us to stay in here anymore, you know. Why not? Because we're in the field. Oh, no. Of course, but you have to stand on your edge. Oh, no. Not only that, you know, but once upon a time when I was a little lad, you know, I tried uh, to get one of those things together. What thing? One of those things. What, what thing? One of those little round things. Oh, yeah. Because she was nice. <laughs> Shall we play another round? I think we'll have, I have, to, I'll have to tell them a joke in a minute. Yes, yes. yes. Joke, joke time coming up. Joke time coming up. Here is a joke. The Radio North International Super Hit 50. <laughs> I think really what we ought to do, you know, um, now then, ah, yes, 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 I, I remember the days of the kind of house, oh, but no. I can't talk about it. I know. It, 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 yes, I didn't even know that one. No, the, the border pass was, a, was in fact a nice little bit of garden in downtown Soigal. Who was who to understand that, Tom? I don't know. I, I, I try, you know. I, I've been noticed how funny the ghosts are. Aren't they? Aren't they, Joe? Aren't they funny? Now, the reason they're funny is, let's just say, that, uh, uh, you know, they play football on Sunday. Aye. Yeah, Big Jack in town plays football with me on Sunday. Aye. It's, it's one of his favourite pastimes. Aye. Yeah. It's, actually, aye. it's second of his one. Aye. 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 Go on, Joe. I call it Spike Millington. And that was only his trousers. Yes, and of course he was wearing one of some boots. When he fell in. No, no, but they weren't. This was just it. No, they were Nelson boots. Which is entirely different from Nelson boots. Nelson boots are the ones with the little cactus at the top there. And she said, I wear Napoleon boots as well. Do you really? This is my friend. Hello, Sandy. How are you? Keep my hands in boots. Oh, it's like the pony. I don't get in trouble yet. Uh, uh, poor old Sam. Like a knife on your second floor. It's broadcast to your face. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to say something else. I you? thought you were going to say buttons. <laughs> 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 Hello, Sam. Well, here goes the third 
Yeah, I, I, I think I think what I should have to do is to go in Arthur's store to bring us a cup of tea. Yes, a cup of tea. So we go into the worst record. No, 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 this is the new record of the century. Ah, hi, Dan. Right. <laughs> hi, Dan. Say hi, Dan. 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 Hi,
Uh, only one time to visit the court. Yeah, they. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have a record. I like that. Shall I do something else? I'll give it five. All right. All right. All right. So, what's like the. So, what's like. So, we play a record? You'll get it out in a minute. What I meant, of course, to say was that you have to say that phrase in a moment. In a moment. And back in a minute with a moment. Yes. Or was that in a moment with a minute? I think it was so far. Shall we play some. Yes, yes. Well, well, I, uh, this is very popular music. I, I understand. Yes. In fact, I, I understand that it's so popular they're going to ban it. Yes, yes. of course. We must do that. We must do that. Why not? If it's popular, then it's popular, we ban it. <laughs> if it's popular, we'll ban it. Yes, well, not only that, we'll also pull our mask up. Oh, 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 and little Johnny Blue Sox was playing with his new rifle and writing a letter to home. Dear Ma, I'm not scared. I don't want to die. But I'm going to run away tonight. And John Wayne is here to protect me, girl. <laughs> Now then, West Medic presents uh, <laughs> West Medic Productions presents 
What? Are we presenting? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I know. Yes, of course. Right, yeah. Question. What does a Scotsman wear under his kilt? West Merrick Productions. <laughs> <laughs> and five carrots. And now we take you to a live outside broadcast at the Hammersmith Podium in North London. This is the official Ray Conniff dancing competition. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the official podium of the Hammersmith Ray Conniff Association of Broadcasting. And more this afternoon, ladies, is wearing a lovely shade of green. Unfortunately, she sees it. Music Society proudly presented a dance. And that was them dancing away with trombones in hand. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, was a fox trot. Have you ever seen a fox trotting? Yes, it's going to be the answers are for it. And next we present a waltz. A Viennese waltz. Because the last time I was in Vienna, they were all waltzing down here. They're strange people out. It's not unusual. Now, again, we've got to fill a minute. <laughs> Don't do that too often, and that. Listen, we've got to spill a minute, haven't we? What happens if we watch your television? Oh dear. Can you imagine it? Oh, I mean, yes. you sat here in your room together. Yes. And you sat in here in me cardigan. Yes. Well, now I've got my up pants on. Oh, do you really? Oh, no. Most of the time on TV. Oh, it's outrageous. They'd find me the next day. <laughs> Do you know where outrageous comes from, don't you? No. Yeah, it comes from there. Where? The other place. What other place? place. Oh, that place. Yeah, that place with all the uh, with, with all the little things on yeah, top. All the, yeah. yeah. And all those little flags. Little flags. Was it nation? Uh, mm. No. Ah, oh, that's what it was. Yes. Uh, nations are mild and mucky unto nations. Right. Uh, uh, don't forget the line which has wet and wobbly in it. Ah. Oh, ah. Oh, yes. No. Also. But we were told. Hey, but we were told that the management said we couldn't use wet and wobbly anymore. Do you remember? Oh. Who said that? Ah. Oh, well, we, the, the management so that we couldn't use wet and wobbly anymore because it advertised a waterfall. A what? A waterfall. A what? A waterfall. A what? A waterfall. Oh, a waterfall. Have you finished it? Listen, ladies and gentlemen, just before the station identification and why do disc junkies have small hands? Listen, ladies and gentlemen, just before the station identification and why do disc junkies have small hands? We pause for small hands. I mean, <laughs> but right now, just before the station identification, we want to say... you notice that? What? She did have small hands. Did she? she? I mean, not, not her hands, but they I never noticed them. I just felt them. Okay. okay. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, left hand down a bit, right hand up a bit, a little to the left, a little to the right... <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, I haven't let go of it. <laughs> Fire! Yes, friends, we all want you to win. I wonder if we'll be employed this time tomorrow. Bonsoir, vive la France, ici Radio Nautique, de Nationale. Ici Radio Nautique, Mère du Mois. 
broadcasting from the radio Broad theater. Copy. And, pardon? Broad and, copy. and not only that, but also with relay stations in the Crystal Palace. And, would you believe, newly open today, ladies and gentlemen, at the top of the Eiffel Tower. Yes, Viva la Eiffel Tower. This is Radio Ship Mevo 2. In medium wave at 022 meters, 7631 kilohertz. I was doing that backwards. I know. You were, I know. He's Australian again. He's standing on his head. Short wave, 6,205 kilohertz. Wave is fixed. Oh, and wave is ah. uh, 49 meter band ending at him. Uh, what do you think? Um, frequency, um, Melton, I think. That's channel 44, 100 megahertz. Oops. Radio Lawsy International. I guess deep voice has a point. No, everyone. Oh. <laughs> that, was all, that was all too much for the Merrick mind. Yes, the sound of a young European summer 1971. Actually, <laughs> The old one have been clapped out by now. Man of action's run out. <laughs> is Freddie and Nordsey International AM and FM. Where's my life jacket? <laughs> they've done. They've done it again. Yeah. Shall we play some music? I think the music is called yes, for. Yes, the music is called for, and we shall all sing over this. Ready, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three, eight. Oh, oh there we have a little man. Oh, 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 o
You can have that one again. Oh, 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 the title of this program, ladies and gentlemen, it's called Lowering of Alan uh, West. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 um, there's one thing I'm glad about today, you know. What? Seriously. Because in, in, uh, in days of old, you know, when, when there used to be pirate ships all over the world, naughty men pirates. Oh. Yeah, they're really oh. not very naughty men. Oh. 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 We should never be pirates. Ban them. Ban, oh. ban the pirates. Yeah. Never be pirates. Yeah. You know what they used to do when they what? got them onto shore? They used to try them. They never well, worked, they, but they used to try it. <laughs> <laughs> they used to hang them up. They used to hang them up and do oh, things, don't they? Ooh. Hello, Sam. Oh, let me don't play again. Oh, hey. Oh, 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 baby. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, you certainly oh, do now. Oh, 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 no gun shot. Don't do it. Don't do it. A little up, a little down, a little down, a little down. Exactly. Now, now I've got... Oh, wonderful, Miss Latour. Oh. And now we'd like to... One more time. Uh, I just love you. You know I do. There's things that we can't say on the radio. Uh, just... uh, <laughs> a Miss Latour. A mouse will go away. I've got the beast. But Miss Latour. Say hi, Al. Uh, hi. Hi, Al. Well, uh, Canadian radio would never have her. Uh, uh, that's not all, you know. And you know we want you all to win. Double your, double your girls' time. Oh, double. <laughs> and here's the first. It's double your radio station's time, baby. And here's the first. first Naturally. Ladies and gentlemen, in this all prize, all winning, double your girls' time. What is the most areas that will be cloudy and cool in the morning? Ladies and gentlemen, they will be a slight depression of 1,027 millibars, rising slowly over Ford in East Anglia. There will also be a slight depression of 1,205 millibars. <laughs> <laughs> Time to, time to stand up the French, pardon? Well, uh, easy, Paris. Hello. I can speak some French, you know. Go on, then. Yeah. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, medics French. <laughs> That's the sound they like this, you know. <laughs> slurp, slurp, slurp of oil wells. <laughs> It's obviously the same thing as that guy in the photo, uh, in the pictures had last night, because we went to the pictures last night, didn't, didn't we? Did you like your flash? Say, say that again, only louder, because they can't hear you. Go on. No, no. There's a, there's a, there's oh, a bloke. Yes. There's a little bloke in the corner. Uh, yes, yes. Well, isn't that one of those exotic gnomes? Ah, oh, yes. yes. One of those ah, exotic gnomes. Yes, yes. yes. He's a new one. I've realised, you know. Hey, I've no. I, I've realised. His Michael Gnome. Michael yes. Gnome. Yes. Ah, yes. not Gnome Sweet Gnome. Gnome Sweet Gnome. Yes, yes. yes. Michael Gnome. <laughs> gnome Sweet Gnome. Yes. Of course, we should have realised it before. Oh, yes. It reminds me of Lieutenant Colonel Fosby. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. Busy. 
tall calling Dead Victor three and a half. And I only see Dead Victor three and a half and a bit. <laughs> yes, I just arrested the bit. <coughs> the program has now fallen apart, ladies and gentlemen. If you're a little bit worried about this week's program, you can be more no, worried wait. about next week's program because they will be on tape. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, next week's fiasco will be on tape. And spliced and spliced and taped. Back to the gnome. <laughs> and they will all run back to front. No, then, should we have a jingle? I think so. One of these jingles that we slaved over. I spent three and a half months. I remember those days. I remember hey, all That's the week we must get out of here. No, I, I get one. <laughs> What? I refuse to have any more to do with this program. <laughs> so do I. Good night. No, uh, you, you remember when we made the Somerset jingles some time ago? Yeah. Well, we only played the bits that we wanted to play. Do you remember? I, but I, 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 the I, other bit. I got some more bits from the first set as well. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shall we, shall we send up one of our wonderful creations? Yes, let's send up one of our wonderful creations. One, two, two a one, two, three, four, and five. Double oh, oh, no. oh, oh, no. time across Europe. Ah, oh, what a yo! I'm the sound of a go go Europe. I don't know when when they are. Swinging through Europe in summer of '71. <laughs> <laughs> Banana. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, it reminds me of all our records which used to swing out of the studio. He <laughs> grew arms and he ate that. Actually, I've noticed that since we started playing these summer set drinks, the sun hasn't shone one day. <laughs> It'd be nothing. Should I'm we take them off? Tangled up now. Should we take them off? Pardon? I, think I'll get... oh, I, I don't, I don't know. I'll, I fancy yeah, a dip. I, yes. I fancy a dip. Oh, oh, is it warm down there? Oh, no! Oh, no! Listen. Let's have a quick eight. Hey? This is radio substandard. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't forget to switch your radio off. You're, You're wasting, wasting your battery. battery. Cut. What? Cut. <laughs> Hold on. Don't say anything. There's a nasty noise from somewhere. Can you hear that nasty noise? Yes, it's modulating at 20%. No, it's not modulating. Spot number two, ladies and gentlemen, has got a nasty noise on it. Yeah. Oh, it hasn't anymore, because now that's run out. Please don't forget to switch your radio off. You're wasting your batteries. Wait for the nasty noise. Can you hear it? Can you hear the nasty noise? See, our compressors and amplifiers and things like that in the other room, you know, they're, they're I, bending the noise. I, I, <coughs> what should we do now? I, I think, really, this is a test transmission for the program for next year. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. I don't think we'll explain that, Jeff. <laughs> I did what I did for food. <laughs> <laughs> you should finally put it down. You don't know where she's been. This is the last day that I'll ever see. Out in the courtyard, they're ready for me. But I go to my lord with no fear. Cause I did what I did for Maria.
That's my word, sacred record. Yes, yes, yes. yes. My, my, yes, I did what I did from the real. Then ah. Tony Christie. No, then, yes. Right, thank you very much, Tony. And good night. Yes, Tony Christie, ladies and gentlemen, appeared by kind permission of Christie's. Yes, Christie's, ladies and gentlemen, that well-known Eric and otherwise Department of Stores and Kind. Yes, they sold him for £14,000. It's a 14 minutes to 8 o'clock. <clears throat> Change the subject very quickly. Now, what are we going to do next? Ah, well. Yes. <laughs> I think we ought to play the number 30 sound. I Let's play the number 30 sound. Shall we cue it up? Yes. Right. Cue up the subject. Let me cue it up. Let me cue it up. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Right, now then. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ray Stegman. This is number 30 sound. The number 30 sound from Radio North Sea International now. Isn't that absolutely marvellous? Oh, that's incredible. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. I've had that significant. That's going to be the best record of the year. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Killing the cat again. <laughs> hey, I don't know if you've noticed, but Fre uh, George isn't in here today. Who? George. Oh, oh no, it's not called George, is it? It's George. George. Fred. <coughs> Fred, that's Fred, it. yes. Fred. No, that's the ghost. <laughs> oh, yeah. We haven't told you about the ghost, ladies and gentlemen. We have a ghost aboard the Mevo too, and it's called Fred. And uh, when we first started, oh no, about a month after we first started, we'd lock all the studios up. It's as we used to do just before we go to bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Where do you go now? You better leave the program to me. Uh, now he's gone, I can tell you the real truth about West. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, in next week's thrilling adventure, the real truth about Alan West. Was he really a werewolf? Was he really a maniac of the clientele department? You, only you, can find out in next week's thrilling adventure of Westicles. Besticles is Besticles. Hello. Oh. Key. Pleasure. Thank you. Yes, the number 30 record. What is the number 30 record? But what we've got is we've got to rattle the rattle of corporations. Get the rattle of corporations. Get tells me. The Con Night London. Billy Old Bertie. Billy Old Bertie. The Con Night London. I. Yes, I'm glad we don't have it. Once upon a time. <laughs> Once upon a time, we used to have a little man who used to come round here every so often. But he died. Oh dear. He died. Oh dear. Say goodnight, Dan. Goodnight, Dan. <laughs> right. Now then, um, <laughs> it's time to tell the ladies and gentlemen all about something <clears throat> rather special. Yes, something we, rather special. Which we are going to feature in the program. What we want you to do... What we want you to do... Is go to your nearest seaside bookstore. If you don't live by the seaside, your nearest seaside bookstore. Please... Buy some uh, postcards. Yes, I couldn't think of the right <laughs> word to say. Uh, postcards, funny ones. Uh, if they're dirty, we'll get them out. No. Which will just laugh. Uh, postcards, funny ones. Uh, if they're dirty, we'll get them out. No. Which will just laugh at them and say, I'm wet. Actually, Wes, Wes will stick them on his wall. <laughs> <laughs> on the ceiling above my bed. And uh, if. Um, hey, is Liz still there? Is Liz still there? Liz, yeah. Liz, she's still there. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I, I, I listen on the wall, you know, every night. She's listening a bit at the moment. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Oh, yes, she got rather scorched a couple of weeks ago. Oh, but, ah, now, yes. talking about our housewarming party. Yes. <laughs> when do we get out the next one? <laughs> and who's next? <laughs> who's next in line? Yes. yes, ladies and gentlemen, after the various departures from the Nevo 2, tenders and otherwise, the next in line will be West Medic Production. Yes, can we be diabolically serious for a minute? A helpful husband. <laughs> And I was wondering what, what that round was about. I was all last time when the, you know, started screaming at me. Right, now then. Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, now then, um, the postcard. The Queen's address them to. Uh, what's the name of the program? Two, thirteen, and two. Not called that. Oh, no, sorry, I'm back in 1925. The name of the program. Is of um, the lowering <laughs> of standards. Yes. yes, lower yours, please, to post box 117, Kilversum, H O L P E R S U M, and from other Holland. Hello, 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 hello. And <clears throat> that's in Holland. I think. Um, don't forget, put your postcard inside a pair of clogs and stamp it with four guilders stamps. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you can't afford four guilders, send five gilders now, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, your <coughs> lowering of standards radio guests will be appreciated for this particular time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 seriously, seriously, um, if, if, your, if, if your card is good enough for the program, well, it doesn't have to be very good for this program, then we will use your joke in the program. Can I feel something? 
Yes, yeah, right. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we found out the other day that our television set picks up British television. Now, our television set, uh, Scott Valens now, uh, is an old and ancient television set. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it first came out in 1921. We know this because stamped on the side of it is 200 in London. And in those days, they didn't have them. So, if you have a spare television set, and it works out 405 lines, and at the moment it's sitting in the coin, think about that toy television set. <laughs> and send it to Telly Pelly. <laughs> It's going to live from the Kelly Pelly factory in Bern, in Switzerland. This is an actual program. Guys, on the line. I feel you're coming in number one. Is it going to be going to be going to be one? And it was a... I feel so much more relieved after that. <laughs> <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you might remember some weeks ago, we had a record, which was the best record on R&I. &R. Since then, it's changed its spots. <laughs> Running at 78 RPM, ladies and gentlemen, you can imagine just how long it took to get up to the uh, singing little bit running at that speed. Think what it sounds like this. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, AL, quick, cue up another record. Hey, Our transmitters are going on strike. They don't <laughs> like it either. <laughs> Exciting and impossible. That's called There's No More Corn on Your Actual Zip Not Sooner, and it was sung, of course, by the Walkers. Back to happiness. <laughs> and uh, it's 5 to 8. It's 5 to 8. Here's news. Good afternoon, news. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the news of today. And now the weather. The weather today will be. And now the epilogue. Here is the epilogue. Uh, excuse me, what do you think of the new government? <clears throat> I, what, I well, think... what do you think of the new government? What do I think of no, the new government? What do you think of the new government? Nice. Oh, nice. No, then, I have to say that, you see, because I'm one of them. Shall we go to Japan? Ha, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we are just about to break a record. Are we really? Yes, we're going to break a record. I don't think you can break that. No, you can't. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and West is now straining on. No more corn on the bar but no more corn on the bar and broken. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, isn't that tough? Yes, another edition of Break the Record next week. It was tough. I'm not going to run the telephone Yes, 
ladies and gentlemen, in the big fight this week between There's No More Corn on the Brothos, weighing in at seven pounds four and sixpence eight eight, and Alan West, weighing in at seven stone five. It was another resounding breakup for Alan West. Will he do it again next week? Will he found out where his hot pants left? And there was only one other person in the studio. Tune in next week, ladies and gentlemen, to this program, which is entitled A Lowering of Standards. West Merrick Productions will be here, although West himself, personally self, will be on holiday. But Merrick will be here, complete with tape recorders, tape, clickings in the background and various other noises to make you happy for one hour on a Sunday night. End of promo, and she was, for there's no more corn on your actual lowering of... I can't hear, they can't hear me now, mate, you've got your... <laughs> I knew this was a little studio, but it's the first time I've seen the mice jump from the cassette machines. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget at 8 o'clock on Radio North International. Doesn't that sound sexy? So the Radio North International album show. Albums this week going to Aaron Rust of the London Press. <laughs> and that's just one track. That's a final album by Disco's and Company Limited. A friendly party. Crew doing your exercises again. <laughs> Keeping fit. One, two, one, two. I thought that said people in bed. <laughs> it was a little near the mark. A coffee break. <laughs> I don't think we all try coffee break, you know, Al. I think we've got to pick our turns, guys. Pick our turns. Okay. It's time to see to come down. Who? I can't say it. Come in here. A 15-mile height. Oh, the crew are still doing their exercises. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think that's... Hello. Oh, hello. 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 Yeah, plastic one. Oh, my skirt, yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. Sue, I must be quite honest to say that I wouldn't touch your your uh, your skirt without with my dress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Do you remember the days of tulips, Sal? The afternoon nap. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, the schoolboys have grown up. Pardon? The schoolboys have grown up. Did you see him? Did you see him? <laughs> Oh, that's the end of this particular program, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, maybe fortunate for you, but definitely unfortunate for us. Thank you very much, Paul. Um, well, thank you for it anyway. Um, again, listen, I told the travelling to Anna, uh, Alan, you're, you, you're, you're encouraging it to, uh, to, to practice our scenes. Yes. Are we going to go? Are we going to go? Take things back, memory. The time is 1400 hours. The date is the 21st of February, 1971. In the studio are three courageous men. They have fought the ass. They have fought the sea. Yes, good. That's the end of the program. Where's the pit? Oh, 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 live broadcasting. <laughs> That's the end of the program. If you have any comments on the program, then do send them to West Merrick Productions Incorporated to the magic... <laughs> care of uh, The Mast, Amiibo on Sea, North Sea, Essex. Right, that's it. Thank you, good night, and good night, and good wishing. Radio North Sea International News. The latest reports from around the world. Good evening. Oh, the good morning. This is Christmas and John with the news. The core epidemic has now reached Calcutta. The start of summer R in I. From now till 3 a.m., you can hear Stevie Murray, Alan West, Chrissy and St. John, Tony Allen, and Dave Rogers. Summer days become summer nights with summertime on and I.
uh, could should remain cooler than normal, with cloud covering most regions. Later on this afternoon, some rain is expected, although by evenings most areas should remain dry. I believe the bottom remark reads, temperature on the Mebo to 14 degrees. Don't know, it's pretty warm in the studio. Got Melanie now, and the track I me meant to play earlier, which is the Nichols song. I'll tell you about it tomorrow. Play now, Smile Away, and it's from the Paul McCartney LP, Round. <laughs> It's from the Country Joe live album, and this is Kiss My Arse. I think we'll have to play another track during the programme. Anyway, from the best of cream, this is Crossroads. Out of the studio for a bite to eat, and uh, this is Chicago taking over for the uh, next few minutes anyway. I'm going to play a track from The Doors, and it's one of my favourite tracks of theirs, Eight Miles High. This is the Raiders from the LP Collage. Boys in the band. A record that uh, brings back memories in 1970 to me. Um, don't think we hear too much of the Raiders now, at least I haven't heard of them for a long time. Going to play Arlo Guthrie now from the LP Running Down the Road. A particular favourite of mine, Coming Into Los Angeles. Hello Guthrie and coming into Los Angeles. Rob's just wandered in and uh? hiding at the back again. Yeah, I've just been upstairs. You said Paul's up. Yeah, Paul's up and Derek is um, currently in the midst of taking our, well, what's the, the boiler, you know, the uh, cooker upstairs. Taking it to the stove. The stove. Um, he's doing little things with the vacuum cleaner inside there. So it's much cleaner now. And uh, Paul just came wandering out of his cabin, so he's, he's awake, can't sleep. It's very warm up there now, for some reason. Is he feeling better now, or is he still feeling rough? Well, I think he's got a little ill, but, uh, well, maybe tomorrow he'll be better, yeah? <laughs> and maybe tomorrow we'll get some good weather, yeah? yeah maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe peaks can fly. Yeah. From the LP, Phantasmagoria, this is Curved Air and Marie Antoinette. <laughs> from the group Curved Air and the LP Phantasmagoria. You should be uh, live now, Rob. No, my microphone seems to be dead in the corner. <laughs> what I'm trying to actually... Try plugging it in. Yeah. That's a good idea. I'll just creep under the panel here. Got another microphone that should be working at the back of the studio and isn't. Yeah. Going to play uh, a, a sample now from the LP Beggar... Um, Beggar Julia's time threat, it's exception, and uh, really it's a continuous side, and we're starting off in the year about 1600. <laughs> Exception and an excerpt from Beggar Julia's Time Trip, and Robbie is now live at the back of the studio. It should be live. Is that on? It's lovely. On. Sounds good as well. Well, it sounds like you. <laughs> That's nice. And uh, really are a good exception, aren't they? One of the perfect bands. I was saying the best group in Holland, but you disagreed. Um, well, I, I, I like myself Earth and Fire, you see, and I can't really put them down as being number two, but I think certainly Earth and Fire and the exception are the two best groups in Holland. And there's certainly a lot of good LP, uh, good LPs and good groups following up. You know, there's some very good groups in Holland. In fact, in the whole of Benelux at the moment, and on the continent, it seems that uh, people are actually getting together and making good LPs over here, which is great to see. And it's good that uh, we anchored off Holland, where we hear all the material, which is good, isn't it? Mind you, exception have been around a long time. A long time, yeah, a long, long time. So that but, LP uh, is at least two years old. Yeah. In fact, they've had it, what, about three or four LPs after that. So, mm. you know, they've been doing lots of good things. Although I, I tend to find that exception material drags uh, if, if you <laughs> listen to it too long, you know. That's the only problem I have. In fact, I've got all the LPs at home except for this one because this was a very early one. And uh, 
I listen to them, you know, and what I do, I usually stick aside them and I can't listen to any more because it's boring to me in some ways. But uh, still, I like it, of course. I like all sorts of music. In fact, if, if I listen to anything like that, I stick on a bark church organ choir or something, you know, it's like, yeah. Uh, go up and go to sleep. That's it, yeah. <laughs> I think Terry Davis is the one for bark and uh, yeah. church orchestras. And the organ, the church yeah. organs. Yeah, Terry I was in Spain one. and uh, my hotel bedroom was only about 100 yards from the nearby Catholic church mm. and quite often in the evening I'd hear the organ playing. <laughs> it's very relaxing. Yeah, was, except when it wakes you up. I was lazing on the bed, mm. um, recovering from a day's sunbathing and swimming and general leaping about. Mm, lots of girls as well. Well, not so much in the afternoons. No? I don't really recommend Spain though to anybody that hasn't been on holiday yet and is wondering where to go. Yeah, on the Costa Brava. Yeah, to Tosa del Mar. Yeah? Tosa del Mar. That's yeah. where I was. That's nice. It's a very nice place, but there's other good places around, mm. you know, in the same sort of area. Anyway, it's 16 minutes to three now. We've got four hours to go, four and a quarter hours to go, and we're going to try and fill it with music for you. And Chicago's got another LP track for you now, haven't you, Chicago? Yes, I have. It's Judas Hill, and uh, the track I've chosen is Archetypal Man. <laughs> Judy Soul and Archetypal Man, and it's fading Robbie up. Oh, I see, just as I was coughing <laughs> as well. That's rather good, isn't it? Judy Soul, actually, I met in uh, Bussum. In fact, in, not Bussum, but Hilverton. There was a, a reception down there which Brian and I got to somehow. We managed to leap out of the office in Bussum and get a, a lift down to the uh, little inn in Bussum, in Hilverton. I keep, keep on getting the places mixed up. In Hilverton, called the Johann Kraus, and Julie Still was down there for a, a Bavima reception. And actually, it was very strange because when we went down there, we had lots of drinks and everything, we were feeling rather tipsy. But um, the head of EMI Bavima in, 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 in England, in uh, Holland, came up and said, Well, um, we've got Judy Still here, and as you know, Judy Still's record, um, what was it called? I think forgotten it. The last Jesus thing. was a crossmaker. Yeah, Jesus was a crossmaker. It's been played thoroughly on uh, Radio Veronica, Hilverson Free. And they forgot to mention us. Yet we had bought the record over from England and played it to death. In fact, I bought a tape over. We played it. In fact, it was number one in our chart the first week. You know, brand new entry.
das Testprogramm von Radio Marina International über alle drei die Wellen, über die Mittelwelle, Kurzwelle und über UKW. Der Mittelwelle 259 Meter gleich 1159 Kilohertz. Kurzwelle in 49 Meter Europabahn gleich 6,21 Megahertz. Und auf UKW gleich 97,2 Megahertz. Radio Marina International. This is the sound of Europe. Radio Marina International on test transmission. We broadcast on the medium wave at 259 meters. On the short wave, European band 49 meters, 6.210 megacycles. And finally, on the FM band of 97.2 megacycles. Radio Marina International. Dit is Radio Marina International met zijn testuitzendingen van op de Mebo 2, 4 mijl buiten de Belgische kust, ter hoogte van Katzand. U hoort ons op 259 meter middengolf of 1159 kilohertz. Op korte golf in de 49 meter Europa-band of 6,2 megahertz en in de FM-band op kanaal 34 of 97,2 megahertz. Radio Marina, de sound of free radio. Hoogt u ons? Het zij op uw draagbare radio, in de auto of op een klankinstallatie of hoe dan ook. Schrijf dit alles naar Radio Marina. Internationale Burelen, Blokstraat, 60, postnummer 9744, 9744, de Dikkelvenne in België. Inderdaad, leuk is dit van het opkomt van The New Inspiration. The new inspiration and the rainbow. My heart is changing all the weather. Well, so it's an even shorter hit. I'm crying and crying all the time. Effectief, luister naar de jongens uit Jastown, Gentbrugge. Without you. Objectieve en openhartige informatie krijgt u elke dag langs het meest verspreide dagblad in België, Nederland en over de hele wereld. Het laatste nieuws. Het laatste nieuws. Oh yeah, present look is my name. Good music is my game. Sounds from DJ Lucky richting zich op Santana. 
Santana and Black Magic Woman. En vergeet het niet, u luistert nog steeds naar Radio Marina van, vanaf de Mebo 2, het schip van Radio Nazi International. En vanuit de ultramoderne studios van Radio Nazi International brengen we u de Lucky Show. One of these stations was called Radio Kerkske. That means a station from a little church, since the antenna was on a church tower in Antwerp. It was owned by Mr. George de Calloway. In 1940, the station remained on the air until the German army was in the immediate vicinity of Antwerp. At that point, Mr. de Calloway destroyed all the transmitting equipment, since he did not want the station to be used for Nazi propaganda. Near the end of the war, Mr. de Calloway started to build a new transmitter. As soon as the German army started retreating from Antwerp, Radio Kalkska went back on the air to encourage the inhabitants of Antwerp, city which was then heavily bombed by V-1 missiles. The Belgian government, having returned from London after the war, ordered Mr. de Calloway to cease the transmissions of his Radio Kalkska since, according to a new law, only one official broadcasting authority would be allowed to air programs in Belgium. This ministerial decision was a severe blow to Mr. de Calloway. His radio dream was shattered. The radio that he was, he did not give in. He even founded a political party which aimed at putting Radio Kirkstra back on the air. The authorities, however, still refused to grant Mr. de Calloway a license. In the early 60s, Mr. de Calloway bought a 50 meter long ship made of concrete. The ship's name, Crocodile, was changed into that of a Flemish, and German for that matter, legendary hero, Erlen Spiegel. The ship was towed to Antwerp and was fitted out as a radio station. After some trouble with a maritime inspection, the Erlen Spiegel, registered in Panama, left the harbor of Antwerp and anchored some five miles of the Belgian coast, not far from the harbour of Seabruge, from where the tender, called Mele, N-E-L-E, after the wealth of our legendary hero, brought supplies to the radio ship. On Saturday, October the 12th, 1962, at 14.25 hours Western European time, the Belgians had their own offshore pre-commercial radio station broadcasting on 201.07 meters in the medium wave band, that is 1492 kilocycles. <laughs> The response by the Flemish people to the excellent program was immediate and overwhelming. The Island Spiegel was on the air daily from 7 in the morning until midnight with programs in Flemish. From 1630 hours to 1700 hours, however, there was a French program entitled Yad de la Musique. In those days, the official Belgian radio still closed down at 2300 hours. In order not to lose face, an extra hour of broadcasting was soon added to the programs of the official radio. This 
is Radio Antwerpen van het Schat Eiland Stigo op de Leerzee. We zijn er naar u naar luistert. Mr. de Calloway, although he was 73 years old, was regularly on board the ship. At 12.25 hours after the lunchtime request program, greetings from island people, he used to say a few words to his listeners about the situation on board or the reception reports received, or he would thank Barton fishermen for the fish they gave to the station. One day he announced that a surprise for all the listeners had come on board from the tender. And indeed, a few days later, the shortwave transmitter in the 41-meter band went on the air. Reception logins came in from all over Europe and even from areas as far away as Canada. For a couple of days, the island people had some trouble with the modulation of their medium wave broadcast. And due to that, interference was caused on the entire medium wave band in the Belgian coastal area. The technician soon solved this problem. The thing which could not be mastered, however, was the sea. During a storm in mid-November 1962, Island Spiegel's first distress call went out. After one day's inactivity, normal programming started again. Early in December 1962, the Belgian Parliament passed the anti-pirate law with 123 votes against 35 and 5 abstentions. On December 13, 1962, after an operation, Mr. de Calloway died in Antwerp. On the same day, the Belgian authorities planned to board and confiscate the station, but gale force winds prevented the authorities from carrying out their plans. The same storm, however, made it very tough on the concrete ship. Suddenly, the water was pouring, since one of the hatches on deck had been blown away by the storm. The shortwave transmitter fell and smashed the medium-wave transmitter. Thousands of records and valuable equipment were destroyed. The island spiegel was dying. Then the anchor chain broke. Distress signals were sent out by means of fire rockets and burning clothes. The ship drifted towards the coast. A Dutch tugboat managed to keep the island spiegel away from the coast for some time, but after the towing rope broke, the end was near. The island speaker stranded on the beach of Kazant in Holland, only 500 meters from the Belgian frontier. The crew had in the meantime been picked up by a pilot boat from Seebrug, which was rushed to the spot after having been advised of the seriousness of the situation by one of the ferry boats coming into the harbor. One of the volunteers on the pilot boat fell into the water during the rescue operation and got badly injured when the pilot boat hit the side of the radio ship. Later on, the man died in hospital. The wreck of the island speaker is still on the beach of Kazant at the moment. A sad reminder of a great station. Radio Antwerpen van het schip Eiland Spiegel op de Noordzee. De zender naar u naar luistert. Vom Radioschiff Mebo 2 hören Sie die Weltsendungen von Radio Nordsee International auf Kurzwelle 49 Meter Band 6205 kHz für Europa und 31 Meter Band 9.935 kHz für die ganze Welt. Vous êtes à l'écoute des émissions mondiales de Radio Nord-Z International, émettant du bateau Mibo 2 à l'ancre dans la mer du Nord. Nous diffusons sur 6.205 kilocycles dans la bande de 49 mètres pour l'Europe et sur 9.935 kilocycles dans la bande de 31 mètres pour le monde entier.
You're in tune with the world service of Radio Nord Zee International. This program is beamed to you from the radio ship Nebo 2 anchored in international waters off the coast of Europe on 6,205 kilohertz in the 49 meter band for listeners in Europe and on 9,935 kilohertz in the 31 meter band for listeners in other parts of the world. U bent afgestemd op de werelduitzendingen van Radio Noordzee Internationaal vanaf het radioschip Nebo 2 voor de kust van Europa. Wij zenden uit in de 49 meter band op 6.205 kHz voor de luisteraars in Europa en in de 31 meter band op 9.935 kHz voor de luisteraars in de rest van de wereld. Aquí las emisiones mundiales de Radio Norte Internacional desde el barco transmisor Mibo 2 van el Mar del Norte. Radiamos para la Europa sobre 6.205 kilociclos a la banda de 49 metros y para el mundo sobre 9.935 kilociclos a la banda de 31 metros. Mm-hmm. 